There are approximately 60,000 homeless people in the Los Angeles area, many of them at heightened risk of catching COVID-19. And they already disproportionately have the underlying health conditions that make them the most susceptible to morbidity. In simple terms, they are the ones who disproportionately could die as a result of this crisis. Experts say many of the homeless are in poor health. They, there are very, very sick people on the street. They have pneumonia, uh, COPD, uh, chronic obstruct, obstructive uh, pulmonary disease, and uh, I'm concerned that they'll end up either dying or they'll end up in the emergency department somehow, part of the population that may overwhelm the healthcare system. That's the big fear, that thousands of desperately sick homeless people will inundate hospitals, which will then run out of space to treat other patients. Public health workers have placed hand-washing sanitation stations in homeless camps and plan to do much more. The city of Los Angeles is converting 42 community recreation centers like this one into temporary shelters that will provide space for about 6,000 homeless people. On a recent afternoon, workers were seen bringing in cots and other supplies. The city and county will also requisition high school gymnasiums and buy or lease unused hotels and motels as shelters while maintaining sanitation and social distancing. Inevitably, though, some will fall through the cracks. Between a third to a half of homeless people have either diagnosed or undiagnosed psychiatric problems, schizophrenia, bipolar, and other kinds of of uh, mental health issues. These are going to be the most difficult populations to try to reach and try to engage. Widespread chronic homelessness has been a major problem in U.S. cities since the 1980s, when the Ronald Reagan administration drastically cut federal funds for low-income housing, and many mental hospitals were shut down. Now, in a time of pandemic, the failure of policymakers and society to do more to help the homeless may put many more Americans' lives at risk. Rob Reynolds, Al Jazeera, Los Angeles.